Big shout out to Sporting Icons, best channel out there. Okay, so Frank Warren and Queensbury via Daniel Dubois have launched an official appeal to the WBA over the round number five low blow situation against Alexander Usyk. Now, you know, I know that subjectivity is in boxing when it comes to referees, when it comes to judges, all that kind of stuff. You can't change what's already happened, okay? We know that. Frank Warren also knows that. So when he's hoping for a no contest or order an immediate rematch, he knows that ain't going to happen. But what he is doing is he's, play, he's being very, very smart. He was very, very smart with Down Dubois once before, okay, when Down Dubois lost to Joe Joyce or quit against Joe Joyce. And I know some people say, you can't use the word quit. Fuck off. He quit. All right, he did. I like him too, but he quit. But Frank Warren got him into a position to become WPA World Heavyweight Champion, right? How did he do it? Well, I pointed out to you all what was going to happen when he made the fight with Bogdan Dinu. That put him at number one. That put him in line to then fight Trevor Bryan for the WBA Regular Heavyweight Championship. Then the Wild picked up that. Then, of course, that's how he got the shot with Alexander Usyk. Basically, even though Joe, Joe Joyce beat him, made him quit, then Joe Joyce should have been put into that position. But they didn't do it. Of course, when I pointed it all out, oh, Queensbury went into meltdown with all sporting icons. They did. Because they thought nobody would spot it. And I spotted it. The fact that Frank Warren, in my opinion, favours Daniel Dubois more than he does Joe Joyce. He's always done that. That's why he wanted Daniel Dubois to defeat Joe Joyce, right? But yet they still manoeuvred him into it. So keep that in mind. Now, in this particular situation with Alexander Usyk, they're not going to rule it a no contest. They're not going to order a rematch. So what they will do, they will look at the WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship that they have now reinstated with uh, Manuel Char. Ridiculous, I know, but they have. And they've ordered Manuel Char to defend that belt against Big Baby Jaramella. Even more ridiculous, I know. So what they'll do is, just to keep Frank Warren and Down Dubois and Queensbury and everybody else happy, they'll say, OK, Down Dubois can take on the winner of Manuel Char and Big Baby Jaramella. That's what they'll do. Down Dubois will go that route, he'll pick up that belt again, and then he'll be back into the rotation system. And then he'll be billed as a two-time World Heavyweight Champion, so forth and so on. Okay, That is what is going to happen. Mark my words. If not, it'll be something very, very similar. I know the WBA. The WBA are incompetent. For sure, they're incompetent. They're biased. For sure, they're, they're biased. Are they corrupt? Quite probably. Okay? All it takes is a little bit of something from Frank Warren, a little bit of a threat from Frank Warren. Their ass will go, and that's what they'll do. I can guarantee you it. Guarantee you it. Frank Warren knows that it's very, very unlikely they're going to get a rematch ordered. And it's very, very even more unlikely that they're going to call it a no contest. Because if they do call it a no contest, then of course they have to order the rematch, right? But they're not going to do that. And the IBF is up next with Philip Herkovic. So he's up next for currently Alexander Usyk. Now... This is a very strange situation, it is, because when you really look at it, this round number five, was it a low blow, was it not a low blow? Of course it wasn't a low blow, I know that, you all know that, okay? But in certain images and certain bits, it looks like it's on the line, okay? It is what it is, no one cares anymore. The fact is, Dan Dubois quit in that fight. But they will gloss over all that and look at round number five, because Frank Warren, his Neo from the Matrix in Dan Dubois, He's no longer called Triple D, he's called Triple Knee, right? Because he keeps taking knees all the time. He did it with Joe Joyce, he did it three times with Kevin Lorena, was it three times or two times, whatever. And of course he's done it with Alexander Usyk, Triple Knee. So, let's look at it this way. If they put in that appeal, which of course they have, then Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua have every right to put in an appeal also then, don't they? When Anthony Joshua was deemed to have hit Alexander Usyk low, and the referee told Anthony Joshua off. Had the referee not told him off, then Anthony Joshua, who knows? Maybe he would have jumped all over Usyk and knocked Usyk out. You never know, right? Because that's pretty much what, what they're saying about Dan Dubois and Usyk, the fact that had the referee 
had counted him, then the referee would have counted him out because Alexander Usyk wouldn't have got up. And even if he did get up, then the ball would have finished him off. That's what they're putting their hopes on. So therefore, surely Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua can do the same thing, right? Yes? Play the game, right? Play the game. But as I said, I don't think this is about a no contest. I don't think this is about a rematch clause. I think this is about getting him back into the WBA regular World Heavyweight Championship. So therefore, basically, Dan Dubois would have lost twice. Once to Joe Joyce, once to Alexander Usyk, and at some point will become a two-time WBA regular World Heavyweight Champion. And Joe Joyce hasn't even got his title shot yet. <laughs> you watch. You watch. Hey, what can you do? Boxing and its politics. Don't hate the player, hate the game, as they say. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.